What is going on guys? It is Matt with Sith Bricks and just as I promised we have the room tour today. So I'm going to walk you around my entire room downstairs, uh, everything that I have, uh, everything that I'm working on. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I know you guys have been asking a lot. I'm excited to show you. So we're going to get this party started. All right guys. So welcome to the man cave, the Star Wars room down here. Um, I've got some things that I still need to hang on the wall, but those are going to go up last. Um, I found this at like Ross for like 20 bucks and a lot of this other stuff at Ross. Um, and then my daughter painted that for me down there, which is pretty sweet. Um, but as you see, as I pull back here, you come and I've got these wonderful shelves I built um, out of acacia wood. Um, built to myself. I was pretty happy with that. And then right here, I just got three shelves with some of my personal favorites throughout my collection as far as my Transformers, uh, and my Star Wars uh, lots. Um, right back there's a sign with my name. It says Matt behind Maul. Uh, one of my boys made that for me like 15 years ago out of Lego, so I just can't get rid of that. Um, very uh, personal favorite, uh, Starscream. This is a Japanese variant uh, from the Transformers Prime cartoon. As you can see, I've got a meditation chamber. I've got a Bespin duel. I'm still kicking myself in the butt for not buying a second Bespin duel when I could for about 80 bucks. Definitely regretting that one right now. Um, I'm trying to get the glare out of the way. But as you can see, I have a Darth Sidious and Emperor Palpatine card uh, from the Star Wars CCG. You guys have seen it before. My autographed David Prowse picture with a couple more Star Wars cards. The original Darth Vader. And then the Lord Vader uh, from the Return of the Jedi set. Um, and then for all my Lego fans, up here is my favorite mini figs. So right there, as you see Malgus, and I've got four of his Sith Warriors. These are all authentic Legos here. And then you come over here, and I have more of my favorite Sith Lords right here. All of these are authentic, except for the Darth Nilus and the Dark Lord Starkiller. But the rest of these are all 100% Legos. Um, oh, and the Reavens are custom, too. Sorry, I forgot about Reaven. So, yep, these are just my favorite Sith Lords. They sit front and center as you walk in here uh, on my room. All right, the next stop on my room tour right here is where I hang all my Star Wars shirts um, that I've gotten over the years, um, along with all my extra Legos um, that have accumulated uh, over the years. Um, this was also, a lot of this was bought before I really got into Mold King. I'm still going to get Lego sets here and there, ones that I really like, but I'm going to really slow down um, on my Lego purchases uh, because I also want to focus on Mold King more than I do Lego. So we're going to come over here. I'm going to shadow my light a little bit. But I do have some pretty cool shirts. Like that's a soccer jersey for the Empire. My kids get that for me every Christmas. i got to have Mary Sithmas. Father's Day. Vader. Uh, yes, my Lord Palpatine. Um, and a bunch of others. You guys can see I've got like the, the, vis the villains one and this one. So it's just kind of cool place where I keep all my Star Wars shirts at. Um, come over here to all the big boxes. I've got tons of bags down here. Um, <clears throat> like I got these ones, um, the X-Wings. I'll maybe give those away at some point. Um, more Snow Trooper Battle Packs. And these are the new Clone Trooper Battle Packs that I picked up. Um, every now and then if I just, you know, have the itch to get something, I'll go pick one of those up. It's fairly cheap. Uh, yes, that is six, six AT, -AT Walkers um, that I've purchased uh, for what I do my uh, Imperial Walkers on the North Ridge. So these are all unopened. Um, ready to go. So when I start building that scene, I've got all my walkers over here. Uh, you come over here, you can see um, my Emperor's uh, throne room and my Mandalorian uh, tie interceptor. But I was really bummed because Lego decided to play hockey with my box. And this one is super creased up and dented. Granted, I'm going to build it anyway. I just get irritated when my boxes look like this. Like this one looks like it got kicked in. Um, so yeah. And that just, that stinks right there, but those ones that I'll do there. Um, as you can see, I've got the Death Star 2 Final Battle. That is the ATTE. I've got some TIE Fighters. I've got the Throne Room. There's my Sith Fury prize possession set there. There's my box for Palpatine's Arrest. Um, let's see, I've got a extra one of these sitting around, so that's pretty neat. Um, my empty box for the Scythe. You come over here. Those are all the Clone Trooper Command Centers I've got sitting down there. I got lucky one day, um, not only at the Lego store, but online. I was able to get a bunch. Um, there's my MIDI Scale Destroyer right here, uh, which is another personal favorite. These ones right here, those are all um, um, the the Mace Windu's troops. I can't think of it right now, but those are those ones. Um, 
I got another Vader's Meditation Chamber and another, that's the uh, Death Star 2 Trench Run Diorama. Uh, some extra Imperial Pro Droids. I found both of these on clearance at Target for 20 bucks each, so I picked them up. Here's another oldie set that I got uh, a long time ago. It's got the Darth Vader in it um, for 20 years. So this was what? Uh, 2019. So four years old now. It's got the cool Kashyyyk Trooper in it, the Wookiee Warrior, and of course the 20th Anniversary Vader um, in there as well. And then you kind of come up here. I've got some additional figures. I found these cool magnets. Apparently they only sell these things in like Europe. Um, of course I got it for my boy Palpatine up here. Uh, I came with Newt Gunray and... Uh, Anaconda Far. Um, you can see I've got more mini sets right here. Um, this one is pretty neat behind this Emperor uh, Funko thing. Uh, uh, the, for one of the first mini ones ever was the mini Star Destroyer right here. Have that in open. Um, got a Sith Trooper Battle Pack right there from uh, one of the newer sets. Uh, there's some 501st sets right there. What is this? Oh, yeah, there's my Death Star 2. Thankfully, this wasn't damaged in shipment, which is nice. Only able got one of those this year, so I got it. Um, I got some holiday sets up there because my kids like to do it. Got this one because I like the artillery trooper. I think it's one of the cool. I think it's just a great-looking trooper right there. So I got that set. Found it on clearance as well. So we're going to step back out here now, and then you guys can see some of my boxes that I have. You know, i got to keep damp red. Very important in a room like this, guys, to always have damp red going. Sitting right over there. Um, but you can see a lot of my extra boxes for my UCS Adit Walker, my Star Destroyer. There's one of my walkers, uh, for the build. Um, you know, and so I just kind of keep all my extra pieces over here. There's my bags from Legoland. Nothing too exciting. I'm going to come over here this way. You guys can see all these old, uh, Black Series figures that eventually I'm going to sell. Um, I've recently joined Whatnot. Actually, not recently, a few months ago. Um, but I kind of stayed away from it, but I'm kind of getting back on it. So at some point, all of these Black Series figures are going to be available to buy on Whatnot. I'll let you guys know when I'm going to start selling them. So you can see there we got like a, there's my Admiral Piet. There's my General Veers you guys saw on that one. Um, there's like nine different versions of Vader because they kept coming out with different ones. That one is one one that is personal favorite, Commander Grease. I got this on the, uh, what was this, Force Friday in 2018, I think is this one. So that one's pretty cool. There's a Revan, um, some Stormtroopers etc um there's a tarkin so yeah i got plenty of black series figures but these are all going to go up for sale eventually um as much as i love my darts i'm just going to focus on palpatine going forward so a lot of these other ones i've just accumulated they're just going to i'm just going to sell them because i'd rather people get them um that want them because they're just going to sit and collect dust for me all right so next up on the room tour you guys have probably seen this in the back room as i'm building but this is where i keep all my extra lego pieces right here along with all my mini well most of my mini figure plates so I'm going to come over here. These two plates here are all authentic Lego here. So you have, um, these are all extra snow troopers from battle packs. You've got a Vader and an Emperor there. There's a Gar Saxon, some Shadows, some 501st. I don't know. I've always liked the Bomber Troopers. I thought they were really cool. So I got some of those. Um, you know, they only were in one episode of the Clone Wars, but I just thought it was really cool. And then I got that off of Whatnot. It's a custom uh, P2 Bomber Trooper. And then you come down here, and this is a mix. This is my Sith plate, and you have a mix of customs and authentics on here. Obviously, uh, the Star Killers, the Nilhilis, the Revens, those are all customs, but those are all authentic Fifth Brothers, Grand Inquisitors, Dooku's. Uh, there's another uh, Malgus back there that's um, authentic. Uh, Savage is authentic. There's a there's a Darth Maul back there uh, from like the Phantom Menace with like the the hard like hard plastic cape on them. Um, come over here. This is my, uh, Imperial plate. Um, like the short troopers are actually customs. I love these guys, even though that guy's legs on backwards, my kids love to come down here and do that to me. So these are custom short troopers, which I think are really cool because they have great leg printing. Um, those are authentic Thrawns that I've picked up over the time. Um, those are all authentic Krennics, uh, Gideon, Tarkins, um, all my Sith troopers back there are authentic. So just kind of a mix of uh, stuff on this plate. I could have put it up there with those ones, but for some reason I just like to look better down here. So I just kind of mixed them up a little bit. Now we're coming over to here. These are all custom ones that you see right over here on my Mandalorian plate. All right. You can see I've got uh, Paz Vizsla, Pre Vizsla. There's a Bo-Katan. I've got some, Night or some Death Watch males, Death Watch females. And then back here, just a sweet looking amount of like custom designed 
Mandalorian heavy infantry. All right, you got the black ones with the Empire symbol, the white ones with the Rebellion symbol. The guy who I buy my customs from, he just does a great job with them. And then there's just some custom colored Mandalorians right there. You got white ones, they all got jetpacks on and whatnot. Uh, just the color scheme is really great, so I couldn't resist them at all. Now, next up is my commando plate. So as you can see, I've got all the Delta Squad there. I've got Sev, Scorch, Boss, and Fixer over there on the left. Over here, you can see Gregor right there. And then I just got some custom colored ones because I really liked them a lot. So <clears throat> again, uh, commandos are pretty cool looking. My customizer does a good job, so I decided to buy a bunch off of them, as you can see. And then lastly is my Bad Batch plate. Um, these are all custom Bad Batch figures here. You can see Echo and Tech and Wrecker. And then I've got a bunch of different crosshairs because I've got crosshair in his Bad Batch gear and then his Imperial gear back here. Um, so I just, I don't know why I got them. I just wanted to get them and uh, they looked pretty cool. And then you guys kind of peel back here. And as you can see, I've got these uh, wonderful Acro Mills uh, bins. Everything is labeled. Uh, you can pull out any drawer and see what's in there. I still got stuff to put in there, as you can see, but you kind of get closer. You can see I've got different types of blasters and weapons and droid parts and lightsaber hilts and Sith lightsaber, Jedi lightsabers, all sorts of fun stuff in all of these drawers right here uh, to help keep everything organized. And then I ran out of space because I still haven't even got my uh, the black and the white pieces into the drawers yet. There's still so many extras. I've only got a limited room right there. And I need another one that has the big drawers here. So these guys are just sitting off to the side here um, for right now. Um, I've got a bunch of shipping supplies over here. Um, I've contemplated selling some of my customs. Um, again, on whatnot. Uh, you know, single dad, I got to make a few bucks. So I may take some of my customs and some of my Thenix off of here and start selling them. So I had to get some shipping supplies just to make it happen. And as you guys can see, we are now on the big boys here. You guys see these a lot in my stream sitting behind me. Uh, but of course, there is the beautiful Executor. I was able to secure uh, minifigures for it. Uh, all of those are authentic Lego, except for the Boba Fett, which is a custom, because I couldn't find the original Boba Fett for it, at least not yet for a price. So I've got a custom one sitting there so I can find the original one uh, with all the bounty hunters sitting right there. I've just kind of acquired them over time and added them to the set. Um, so yeah. So we got the wonderful Executor set. You guys have seen the UCS ad at Walker. Um, you saw my video. It's still completely filled with minifigs. There's, oh uh, gosh, I can't remember how many uh, how many snow troopers are in there. But there's not only enough snow troopers for every single seat, but I've also got them standing up and moving them around in there. So I'm not going to take this off because it's going to fall apart like it always does. Um, but you know, I still got everything in here. Veers is still in here with his two drivers and the snow trooper commander. Which I didn't realize, but people are paying like a hundred bucks for that Snow Trooper Commander minifig right there. So that's pretty cool. Um, these ones are not special. They're all pretty much the same. And when I, But that Snow Trooper Commando or Co Snow Trooper Commander is uh, going for quite a pr hefty price right now, which I think is pretty cool. Of course, you guys have seen the Eclipse. I've got it buttoned up right now. Um, you know, being that it's black, I spent this. The Eclipse has a date with this about every about twice a week to get it dusted. I'm telling you, these things are money in the bank. Um, if you guys need a recommendation, I'll get, I'll link this one up at some point, send it to you guys. Um, you guys know my struggles with the Venator, of course, the Star Wars one. And then we come here to a clone plate that I have of minifigures. So as you can see, I've got, uh, Commander Colt, Blitz, Hammer, and, uh, Havoc right here. Um, I can't remember the name of the squad. Uh, it's escaping me right now. Uh, but it's right there. And then you can see I've got Captain Hauser, Lieutenant Gray, Commander Wolf, Gree, Bly, uh, some Star Corps troopers. I've got Captain Jag and whatnot. And then back there is some Horn Company troopers. Or, yeah, I think those are Horn Company guys. And then I got some plain uh, ones back there. There's Camino Security, some of my newest ones right there. Uh, Camino Security right there. So, um, and then you come over here, and then I've got even more of my clones on my plates over here. So there's my 501st collection. You can see Rex, Jesse, Oppo, Tup, Kix, um, Echo, all are there. Um, and then, you know, you've got Cody, you've got Waxer, you've got Boyle, and you've got some basic troopers. And then I've got the Scout guys, and I've got Neo, and I've got Corson troopers. And then, of course, there's my beloved Galactic Marines back there. So, 
That's kind of along this wall here. Um, down here is all my extra transformer stuff right here. Here's the Star Destroyer I'm still working on. I told you guys I got the pieces for it the other day. Um, so that's this corner of the room right here where I keep all the big stuff. And then we're just going to pan around. I've got to flip my light here real quick just so it's easier for you guys. So this is where I sit and work um, every week when you guys are here uh, hanging out with me. This is my desk I sit at. I've got a nice all-in-one computer. Um, there's where the hat sits, uh, my Vader uh, mask, uh, my Darth Sidious lightsabers, uh, some of my cards. This is where I kind of prep to do all my work. Of course, there's Monarch right there. The box is underneath there, so I pull out what I need uh, from those. Um, Got to have some chocolate, as you can see right there. It's always good to have a little uh, something sweet when you're working. Uh, but yeah, this is real nice. This is a custom desk, too, that I built myself. Um, I bought the wood from Home Depot. Um, I bought the the legs itself, and then I decided to be a little bit bougie, and I got me one of these. So, yep, I got myself some standing desk legs. Uh, so there's times you guys don't ever see it, uh, but it'll go to a height so I can stand when I'm working and, and researching and doing whatever I want to do uh, for my next set. And then it's pretty handy. Just come over here and push another button, and it'll go back down. And then, of course, that's where I keep the tie bomber at, guys. Um, the stand that I had it on fell apart. It broke my tie bomber. I fixed it, and I'm just leaving it right there. This is just the easiest way to store it right now where it doesn't bend in the middle. Um, it doesn't cause any bowing or anything. So it's just kind of sitting there um, until I can figure out a better way to store it. All right, and the next stop on my room tour is my wonderful displayed oak-built Lego sets. So as you can see, I have Darth Vader's transformation right there. I've got his uh, TIE Fighter, the 20th anniversary TIE Fighter. Um, of course, you got to have Vader's Castle. What an amazing set. Um, you know, you get two versions of Vader. You get his TIE Fighter. There's a mouse droid, the guards, the back to tank, uh, the Emperor's hologram right there. Those things sell for crazy amounts, too. It's wild. Um, and then, of course, that custom 501st Trooper that only comes um, with Vader's Castle up there, which is on a gun. Um, but that's a great one. And then, of course, my Palpatine plate right here, so to speak. My beautiful, beautiful Palpatine's Arrest set that I have right here. Such a great set. Great minifigures in this one. You know, all those are nice minty uh, figures from the set. Mace Windu, Kit, Eeth Koth, uh, Sase Tin, Palpatine. It's got all the bells and whistles. Of course, Palpatine Shuttle right back here with all the minifigures. They're inside of it. Um... But it was really nice to get his shuttle as well. And then, of course, with uh, Palpatine's Arrest, you get the great Anakin figure running in like that. So it looks really good. You come down here. I have Director Krennic shuttle right here with all of the figures. It's got its two Death Troopers, and inside is the pilots and everything. Just got a cool little Stormtrooper thing. I got that so long ago. Uh, one of the newer TIE Fighters, uh, Mini Shuttle. Uh, another, uh, that was from Solo, I believe, that set right there. Um, and then Shadow Troopers, which these, these troopers are probably, um, my favorite subset of troopers, uh, to buy. I'd love to army build these guys. Uh, they're, they're pretty cheap to do too, so I'll probably be buying a lot more of these. Uh, you come down here, I've got Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle. The Scythe is right over there. I've got the ATST, And then down here, I have the Finalizer, um, and then the polybag uh, mini version of it down here as well, all complete with the figures and everything. And so this is just kind of a nice little corner where I have some open sets that are nicely displayed. They get dusted a lot because there's one thing Legos love to do is attract dust to them. Now down here on the floor right next to my displayed Legos is my Star Wars uh, collectible card binders uh, from Decipher, which ran from like 96 to 2001 if i remember correctly um you know you guys have heard me talk a lot about those so these are my personal cards here one of every set including all the alternate images all the foils and then i have a second set sitting in those binders those five binders stacked right there um that if i decide to sell on whatnot i'll always finish my streams to see if somebody wants to spring for one of those that's not going to be cheap that's probably twenty thousand dollars um in cards and then another twenty thousand right here um you kind of come over here to the ground and you can see I have the Death Star 2 set out, um, arguably one of the most expensive and popular sets because you've got an Emperor, you got Lord Vader, and my glare is not doing me any favors right now. There we go, much better. 
All right. Now, one thing I always loved about these sets is you would get the names of ships out of Star Wars. Like, a lot of people, you know, would never know that the Accuser is one of the Star Destroyers in there. And they even have a Chimera here. All right. And then you kind of flip it over and you can see there's a Dominator here. You've got a uh, flagship executor, which is always great. It was cool. It's because one of the first cards, it had to be sideways because of the length of the executor. But you can see they talk about the Judicator. They talk about the TIE Defenders that were there. Saber 1, uh, which was Baron Sunterfell's uh, TIE Fighter right there. So it was just really neat that they would do all these little things so you could see um, like different names of the ships that were actually in the movies. And so, and this is all canon. This entire st stuff is all canon. So it's one of my personal favorite sets. It's definitely one of the most valuable ones. Right now, if you wanted to buy a booster pack of this, I think it's like $30, $40 for a booster pack. Of course, I got Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight, which is another big one right there. Um, but you can see they've got versions of Wedge and Nine Nub right here. You can see all the different uh, ships that are in there. They've got actually names for the... Uh, the wings, like Green Squadron 1, Gold Squadron 1, which is the Falcon. So I love my Star Wars uh, cards. Um, eventually, I'm going to try to sell my full set, but I have tons of extra rares and whatnot. And at some point, I'm going to put together, like, mystery packs uh, where I'm going to package up some of my commons and a lot of my rares. And I'm not talking about the bad ones. I'm talking about the good ones. Um, and then maybe sell those off and see if people will buy mystery packs of uh, old repack Star Wars CCG cards. But anyway, I love this stuff. One of my all-time favorite hobbies was collecting these. Um, I especially liked printing out random cards and taping on there so I know which set. Hoth set, uh, that's A New Hope, that's the Premier set, so on down the line. So yeah, my Star Wars CCG cards are sitting down here. Uh, just kind of waiting to get up and display. I'd love to have... Uh, almost like old music stands to have books open and laying open so people could walk by and they could be all be on the wall and you could just kind of flip through the pages. Um, I think that'd be a great way to display them. All right, and for the second to the last stop on the tour here, uh, you guys can see I have my lightsabers. You can see I've got Vader and Maul and Count Dooku lightsabers, and then of course you guys have seen Darth Sidious's lightsabers over there. But is my main Starscream collection. Um, this is a small fraction. Um, of all the different variants of Starscream um, and his uh, brigade that I've collected over the years. You know, Starscream's brigade is uh, Thundercracker um, and Skywarp. Um, and then, of course, there's also Dirge, Ramjet, and Thrust. And then if you really want to get technical, there's Acid Sword, Sun Sunstorm, and Circuit Breaker. But that story is for another day. Um, but I have just all sorts of different ones that I've picked up over the years. Um, up top here is a Masterpiece Thundercracker that I got that goes with it. Um, this is a Generation 2, uh, Starscream. Uh, you see how these missiles are and how obscenely long they are? Well, they used to be really small, like, nose cone missiles. But then, of course, unfortunately, a kid put one in its mouth, choked on it, almost died. So they had to make them long like this to make it harder to swallow. Um, probably one of the least favorite versions of Starscream because of just the awful paint colors. I mean, purple and I don't know what you want to call that, like safety orange or a mix of orange and pink but it was just such a tough color um to deal with not all that popular i mean you could see how they did uh generation two optimus prime with the giant optimus down there like really blast from the past on some of these different figures right here um let's see what are some other ones that we got sitting up here uh this one is a beautiful one it's from uh or, sorry my camera angle is bad but this is a from the cloud uh line uh, it's a great, it's another one of the Japanese ones. I had a special order from Japan. Uh, it's a Takara Tommy Star Scream. It's got a great mode. It also is a double changer. You can get a jet mode or a tank mode, which all of the transformers that came from the cloud line uh, were triple changers. So I thought that was really cool um, that they could do that. Um, I've got some busts up here. That's one of them. There's another one right there with this coronation gear. Uh, I've got a, a stand. Um, this one is really, really old right here. Uh, they used to have these stand-up puzzle transformers that I've managed to, uh, found this one like 20 years ago. This is just some cheap, cheap cardboard that you just kind of push together and make it. I, it's still unopened. Uh, the box has been beat up, as you can see, but it's still never been opened and used. I dare not open it because I feel like the oxygen would mess up the color. And then I just found this at a yard sale. 
uh, this very old, this is from the box art of the original Generation 1 Transformers, but it features Starscream prominently right there, so of course I had to get them. Still in its plastic wrap, never been opened. Um, this is from France. You've got a Beast Wars ones. I've showed this to you guys before. There's a Lego one down here. Um, <clears throat> I've got different ones from the movies. I've even got some knockoff ones that I've kind of picked up over the years. Um, actually, no, this one was from Toys R Us. Um, about 20 years ago. Gosh, I can't believe it's been that long that I've held on to that one. Um, let's see, are these them right here? No, those are the Toys R Us ones right here. Oh, these are some of the knockoff ones back here. Um, these are Korean, um, uh, what they call knockoffs. Uh, they call it Black Star Scream, obviously. Um, but they were like super cheap and I just thought it'd be cool to have these different variations. Yes, they're not authentic Transformers. You guys can look at that Decepticon symbol and you can see it itself. But I just thought it was a cool way to own some different variations of uh, my boy Starscream. You come down here, I've got even more ones. Um, this is uh, almost, this is how the Generation 1 boxes looked um, back when I used to buy them. But you would have uh, Styrofoam as the insert um, instead of plastic. Now this one comes with the Megatron gun. The original one did not have the Megatron gun. Um... But if you guys, this is pretty much how the packaging looked back in uh, 84 uh, when we first started being able to buy these right here. And see, there's that Starscream picture from the original packaging. So um, I think that's pretty cool to have that one. And then, you know, you find these ones down here that have all these different versions of the Seekers. Um, you know, just kind of fun stuff. I, I've always loved Starscream. So I've got a bunch of different bagged ones here. You can always tell um, when you've bought a figure from Japan because they will always wrap it in plastic bags. Every figure you ever buy from Japan when it comes to Transformers, they will come wrapped in plastic bags. It's just how they do it. Um, so yeah, so that's my Starscream collection. Um, now, some of you guys may have seen these things sitting over here in the corner, some Pokemon cards. Yes, I have Pokemon cards, uh, but these are for something else, and I'm gonna explain to you guys here in a second. Okay, so I'm gonna address this here in the room real quick. Yes, I have Pokemon cards, all right? but. I have the card savers here. I have the Beckett sleeves. What I do is I send cards to PSA all the time. So I've got this nice piece of felt board right here. So let's say you want to send a base set hollow Charizard uh, to PSA to get graded. Well, if people can hire me and I'll get the cards prepped and ready to go to grading and I do all the submissions and everything, but I use this piece of felt so um, to take care of the card. So I use a microfiber cloth. I'll wipe the card real quick with the owner's permission. Um, then I put it into double sleeves, um, and then I will box it up and ship it out. And so, um, I got some of these, uh, not only for myself, but some, a lot of these are, uh, friends and my kids. And so I will take them and then I will put them on the felt here and I will get them ready to go to PSA to get graded. Um, I have a pretty good track record of getting back, uh, eights and above. Um, I'll tell you straight up, if you send me a junk card, I'll be like, this card ain't going to make it. Don't send it. Uh, but usually the cards that I will sit there and look at the data for almost always come back at a PSA 8 or better. All right, so enough of that. So on to the final part of the room tour here as I move my light with me. All right, I'm going to give me a second here. I'm going to drop it down so you guys can see it better. So these are the last surviving Funko Pops of my collection. All right, so I wanted to collect all of them at one point. At one point, I had every single dark side pop there was, all like... 400 of them, but I decided to cut them down and I only decided to keep all of my Darths. Well, I realized that they're just going to probably sit in bins. So I'm going to be selling these as well, probably jump on whatnot um, at some point and start selling them too. And as you can see, that's not an original Vader. That's a second issue one right there, but there's the first one. But you can see I've got all different versions of Darths here. Um, I've got some of the art prints. You guys can see I got malls down there, more Vaders. I've got a Malik. Um, a, a Reven's in here somewhere, I think. I don't know where he's at, but he's in here somewhere. Oh, yeah, there's Reven right there next to Malik. So, um, and then I've got some other ones over here. I've got some more of the art series ones and whatnot. So eventually these ones are going to get sold too. Um, and then I'll put that more to more of my Mold King and, uh, endeavors. So that brings you guys back to the door here. And now that you guys saw the room tour, it is now complete. That is the most comprehensive review um, of my room tour that I've ever done. Um, you guys have seen every little nook and cranny, everything I got, all the different stuff that I do that I work on. Um, 
90% Star Wars. I got my Transformers. I got my card grading stuff down there. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the room tour. This is where I'm at right now. Uh, hopefully this month I'm going to be able to start construction right there on the Eclipse display stand so I can get the Eclipse moved from, you guys can't see it, but it's directly behind my phone and get it over to the wall over there. So thank you for everybody that asked for it. I really hope you enjoy it. I hope I went into depth. Feel free to ask me any questions about the room tour that's out there. Uh, say whatever you want. You're not going to hurt my feelings. We'll have a good time. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time here on Sith Bricks.